Hey everybody, how's it going? We got some weather coming. They say five, six days of rain. It's just after work. Let's throw a couple of power saws in the uh, turbo wood weasel and let's go get a load of firewood. That's what we're going to do today. I grabbed this minty little 44. I found a bar. I don't even know where that bar come from, so we'll try it out. Uh, it's an 18 inch, I think it's an 18, 325. And uh, we grabbed this one here, the old Sax Dolmar 120 Super. This thing is minty. Thank you to the fellow that donated this. This thing's awesome. I can't wait to run it. Let's go get a load of firewood. Okay, let's start grabbing some of this firewood. Little after work workout. Winter's closing in, so. It's getting to be that time. Usually we'll get an early, an early snow that won't stay. That's the get your stuff going there, Tin Man snow. This tree's a little hollow in spots. She's got the root rock. That's why I took her. That's kind of just how I do things. A lot of trees around here, so fellow doesn't have to be overly choosy. Um. You can hear my war cry there. <laughs> I don't know about this. This one here is uh, it's a little big for me to move. That's that one we've been cutting on. We'll, uh, we'll slice her there. Let's slice her with the 44. <laughs> Let's get this saw running, friends. Hey friends, watch this. I haven't run this saw, but if it runs like all the 44s I have run, this thing's going to make quick work of this.
I love these 44s. They're just amazing. Look at this piece of wood, okay? No joke. And that thing did it. <laughs> How much fun is that, friends? Can we do it? I don't know if I can do it. If I can't, then uh, we'll uh, we'll make maneuvers. You know, Fred's 10 years ago, that thing would be in the truck. I don't think I'm going to be able to get this in the truck here. I just don't. I wanted to keep this for a test log, but uh, I don't think that's going to happen right now. I'll come back with the trailer. See? This is what happens as you get older, you get smarter. This one's getting in there. Ugh. I guess we could cut this in half with the old, uh, with the dolly. There, I'm sharpening this thing. That's it. It's getting dark here. Uh, I hit something with the old uh, Domar. So, there's the difference right there. If you want to run ported saws, they're not for everybody. If I kept going, yeah, this thing's this thing's toast. We hit something in the middle of this log. If I kept going there, that's hard on the saw. I could feel it. My noodles are stringy. They're not. I'm pulling. It's just not a good deal, so that's the end of that. We're also cutting, oh, we're cutting crotch wood here. But that, uh, that chain is toast, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to finish her off with the Husqvarna 44, okay? I want to talk to you guys about something if you're gonna do a big cut with a little saw like that let it breathe and what I mean by that is don't just hold it to the pickle and let her motor through the wood remember these saws are air-cooled and you can blow a saw up years ago friends before I was really into saws and I was just learning and everybody everybody learned it sometime and this is my time I was blocking up a big blow down on this property with my still 025 and I blew it up because I didn't let it cool down okay so just listen to what I do here with this little saw this little saw will do the job okay <laughs>
friends, let the saw cool down. can do it. It's not pretty, but we're in the bush here and we're miles from home, so. There we go. See, just cut it in half. We can always strap it back together at home if we want to cut it for test cuts. Oh yeah, friends. <laughs> I wonder why the Sax Dolmar chain is so bad. Oh yeah, we got some barbed wire or some nails. Oh yeah, we wrecked both of our chains. Oh well, that's sawn. You know what's funny though, friends? 98% of the time when I do that, it's a brand new chain that has a razor sharp sharpening on it or something like that, and it's usually on the first cut. Okay, yeah. I thought we hit some steel in there, and we definitely did. Interesting. Yeah, right here. Three of them right in the center of the tree. Yep. Those of you that live on farms know you never know what you're going to find in trees like this. Uh, okay. Ready? All legs. Ugh. There you go. You know, it always amazes me how heavy trees are and the things we can do with them while we're cutting them. It's a little mind blowing. Okay, let's get her backed up. There we go, friends. I sure like this 44. Hey, it got us out of a jam today, didn't it? Not a bad load of wood. You know, nothing nothing major. Pumped up the airbags to about 20 pounds and uh, perfect, she rides level. I could stack thousands of pounds of wood in this thing now with them airbags you put in it. Here, oh. Sun's going down, friends. Another beautiful prairie sunset. I just got home here from getting that load of firewood. And sorry, I'm trying not to block you guys here. We got mail, so. This is our second box from Rogan. Mr. Rogan in BC, thank you, Rogan. Nice. <laughs> Fred's, look at this. They sent me a t shirt. I don't want to get it dirty. <laughs> From Caslow, BC. Angry Hen Bruin. Look, it's got a power saw. <laughs> I love it. I don't drink, but I sure wear fun t shirts. So there you guys go. <laughs> right on, guys. Thank you. Couple of stickers. Let's have a look at these power saws before it gets too dark. Oh, yeah. 
Okay, friends, so here we go. This is, I have all three 3270s now. Okay, this is the earliest of the 3270s. This is just a straight Pioneer 3270. Okay, here, why don't we grab them all and I'll show you. For those of you who are interested in Pioneer Power Sauce, I sure am. Uh, Canadian Power Sauce. So this is a 3270. Just a regular 3270. Notice the chrome muffler. That is cool. Big dogs. So we have a 3270. 3270 automatic. You guys saw this in the previous video. 3270 SC. This is the newest. This is the second model. This is the first model. Okay. These two are point saws. Pretty, pretty cool to have all of them on the same tailgate. These are all 77cc power saws. And you know what's neat about these? They're actually really small. Like, here's my hand. They're quite narrow. They're not too long. They're not that heavy for what they are. I mean, they're heavier than a modern power saw. But they're fairly lightweight and compact for the era. Um, I don't know how they run. I'm sure they're going to need a little bit of help. But we'll, uh, we'll find out. So you can see, mufflers got bigger. Right here's the the late muffler, the second muffler, which is pretty neat. It's got the two little things on it, and the chrome first muffler. I love that. So I'd like to get this one just running the way it is, maybe runner stock, and then uh, maybe port both of these. Is kind of the idea. We'll see, and uh, just have some fun with them. Pretty cool, Rogan, buddy. Thank you once again. I am super, super appreciative of you folks that just take your time and, and, and help out the channel um, by sending power saws or whatever, you know. I've had guys send me uh, zip ties, uh, flapper wheels, all, like that stuff all helps, friends. Uh, and I mean it. Thank you. Thank you from this guy, from the bottom of my heart. Um, I did purchase these saws, but the fact that he offered them to me is just it's incredible. Now, last but not least, I got the Pioneer bug. The, uh, the wrap handle is, uh, is loose on here. I just uh, didn't throw my screwdriver. Have you guys seen my screwdriver? It's around here somewhere. There it is. Let's see what's under the hood of this thing. We have a Pioneer P40. A little bit different than the P41. It, it looks like the same saw, but there are definitely some differences. As I discover them, I will go over it with you. I just want to see what we got going on here. I'll have to put some silicone on this air filter. Let's see, what do we have under the hood of this? Interesting. So the... The throttle lever is loose, and so is the choke. So whatever, we'll we'll go over this, friends. Now look, this saw, here, this saw has lots of compression, it seems. So, um, if that's any indication of what we're working with here. Let's see what we got under here. If this thing's complete, I'd like to get it running and just run one. Um, we're going to port these coming up. I got a couple of these and uh, I'd like to port one for myself. Those of you that have been here for a long time um, know I like mid 60cc power saws. I don't know. That's just kind of the the size that I run. 365s, 266s. Okay. Oh, and this has a removable sprocket on it. Cool. Check that out. I like mid 60, 60cc saws, so cool. Well, Rogan, you done this guy a favor. I want to thank you. Um, thank you for helping out the channel. Because, again, guys, this stuff really helps. It really, really does. This saw seems to be complete. And, uh, like I said, oh, yeah. She's an old war wagon, that's for sure. Let's put her back together. That way we don't lose any parts or anything. Put this screw in loose. 
we'll definitely get this thing going 100 percent it'd be nice to have a p40 and a p41 running i wonder i wonder if there's any difference in power i i don't know what the difference is between the two saws i really don't they look the same um maybe a different carburetor but that might even be the same man this thing even has the washers for underneath the the nuts these were another fellow saws. I, I think he passed away and, and I'm honored to be able to add these to, to my collection. I like to have a variety of saws just to show things on the channel. It's, uh, it's neat. Anyhow, friends, I got one more thing I want to do before I let you guys go. In the name of science, a couple of you guys said, try that thing in a few days, see if it starts. Huh? It's been a few days. I got, I left fuel in here. I left some parts under the hoods for myself. What do you guys think? Where's my squirt gun? Okay. You guys think this thing's going to start and run? We'll give her a little. There you go. Okay. Now, I'm going to try not to pull so hard. Uh, I was over-traveling the recoil the other day. Not good for the recoil. Okay, ready? On. I bet you with a carb kit, this thing's going to want to go. That's a good sign, eh, friends? It's like a saw that's going to start like that. Ready? I don't know, it seems to be running a little bit better. I think I've given this thing too much fuel. See if we can nurse it along. I am in love with this saw. Like, I... <laughs> We tried. Friends, I absolutely love this power saw. I think, I don't know, our gas tank might be leaking. It's hard to tell. I think the fuel line's leaking for sure. We're going to have to dig deeper into this. Order some carb kits and uh, we'll go from there. Anyhow, thanks for joining me on this after work adventure. Thanks for watching. Take her easy. Later.